Previously on Conjuring Laura Mars Part 1. So, what do we have for today? One of the reasons I became a photographer was a movie that inspired me greatly called Eyes of Laura Mars. I'm thinking we can pay homage to the film. These are horror crime scene photos that we turn into fashion. Cool. Yeah, so, so let's do it. Let's do it. I'm gonna kill you. Hector does hair. Hector does hair. You do it. You do hair. And how is the eyewear beauty nails? Stun. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily for us, we have stylish friends like Jared, who loaned us a bunch of his pieces from his private collection, like this beautiful gold embroidered coat that Lindsay's wearing here. Mm. So as I was sitting outside having a break, Jess came out, Lindsay came out, Jay came out, and they just started modeling naturally. I then said, okay guys, this is going to be a look. This is the perfect example of how organically things can happen. Chin up a little. Good. Close your eyes. That's right. Jay, drop your chin. Chicken, drop the light. Yes. Wow, that's lovely. Stay, stay, stay. Yes, keep doing it. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. A little more kissy kissy. Oh. Yo, Lindsay, take your right hand. Oh, no problem. Drop your chin, Lindsay. Choke her a little. I was shocked when Robert asked me to push Lindsay off the balcony. He had been so scared previously because of his little tiny dog. But funny how when it came to the models, he said, just go for it. Here we are preparing for the second look. I'm putting on some lip gloss by Gerard Cosmetics to Lindsay's beautiful lips. So as we were getting the lighting ready for the second look, Jay was in the middle of the spotlight and just started to luxuriate in his own glamorousness. Hallway Overdose. It's really interesting because these pictures are going to have a story that goes along with it, but the story is up to you. What happened here? Why exactly is this man dead on the floor? That's up to you. It's like abstract art. It's in the eye of the beholder. Lindsay's legs go overhead like a pretzel. Notice I've styled everyone to be wearing shades of pinks and purples to match the pills, of course. Our male model is Dan Sugden, also known as the Handy Dan, because he is just that, my handyman. I love that Dan was so unafraid to be naked. He totally just put his bare dingling on that cold tile. That takes some serious balls.
here I am wearing Stello Couture and Evening Wear from Chic Little Devil, our favorite style house here in Los Angeles. Give it up for Maddie giving us that disco effect with the light in the back. We always make a mess when we're doing a photo shoot, but luckily this time it wasn't my house that had to be put back in order. I called this shot. I'm gonna steal your jewels, bitch, and then strangle you with a telephone cord. So with this setup, I'm actually trying to copy the work of Rebecca Blake, whose images were used in Eyes of Lord Mars. Here's the photograph from the film, and then here's me trying to copy that photograph. So deep. Feel it. Show the blood more. At this point, it was probably about 1.30 a.m. in the morning. So laying in this position was not the most comfortable, but we did what we did to get the shot. I personally know that Tara has always had a secret desire to play a victim in a horror movie. So, here she is playing the drowned girl in our bathroom murder scene. Very good, Tara. It's always a good time when Dan blows me. But luckily for me, because of where I'm standing, Dan was blowing me too. Day two, after a very sleepless night, I was back for another shoot. our dear friend Cecilia who the day before was working as a PA and then today is working as a model. Always ever present is Kim Chi's Puff Puff Pass baking powder. Cece is tall and statuesque and when she has red lips on she becomes well a glamazon. For this shoot, Robert wanted to take it down to the streets of LA. So here we go, all looking like hookers, ready to prance the boulevard and make some money, honey. Wanting to mimic a certain look in the film, here I am showing Tara 
and Laganja a little video of exactly what the girls did in the movie. Here comes our friend Danny Franzese, who I had the pleasure of working with on the Rocky Horror Picture Show. You might recognize him from hit films like Mean Girls or HBO's Looking. I wanted an actor to play the role of the pimp in this scene. Danny came to my mind, and he's perfect in this. You have to give it to Los Angeles. These people that live here do not bat an eye when they see shit like this going down. It was quite strange pulling my girlfriend Tara's hair. I'd never really had this relationship with her, let alone in public. Looks on looks on looks, we really got our bang for the buck thanks to Chic Little Devil. Aren't these dresses by Rita Veneri's just gorgeous? And to pair those gorgeous dresses with something so bizarre and disturbing as Tara wearing my CPAP machine. In the movie The Exorcist, Linda Blair as Reagan wears this really fierce tubey thing up her nose, which has always freaked me out. So I had the machine there, and I'm like, let's put it on Tara. Now if that wasn't enough, Robert took the garment bags which held these dresses and turned them into a suffocation device. Using the leash of Buster, poor little Tara was choked to death yet again. What can I say? Asphyxiation is my forte.
Icon. Join us every Monday at 420 for a brand new episode of Muse Me. Me.